Hello everybody, my name is Mad Powered Gaming and today I am here with another tutorial on how to use the XTory for beginners and I will also show you the best um, settings for the XTory. Um, so what you want to do is if you don't already have um, the XTory installed you can I'll have it in the description to um, uh, download it or if you're just here to see like how good it records I'll also be showing that as well but uh let's get into it um I already um I have DX Tori in a folder you'll most likely have it on your desktop after you install it but once you do that you'll open it I uh here's what DX Tori will look like when you first open it um first thing you're going to want to do you can ignore this tab right here you can uh, um hit this tab over um overlay i suggest having all these um um checked off i mean checked on or what like checked um here is your um your color where you can uh this is the color that shows your frame rate when you're not uh, not recording and then this is the color that shows when you are recording and then these um you can leave these as is you can um, next go over to folder and this is where you um pick your hard drive um your storage device so what you're going to want to do i already have one selected you're going to want to hit add then you can um pick pretty much anything i have it set to this pc you can hit okay once you set um your destination for the folders now it's suggested um suggested that you um you hit the clock and then run and this will show you your hard um, your hard drive speed um, the recommended speed that I'd say would be like a good speed would be <clears throat> uh, 60 and up 60 and up is a good speed in my opinion uh, once you're done with this tab you can go um, go over to hotkey hotkeys and uh, this is where you can set your um, hotkeys um, I believe the default to start your video would be F12 I have it set to F11 um, here's where you can take a screenshot of your screen there's push and talk and all that you can read there's also something um, worth mentioning um, with the XTory unlike Fraps or Bandicam you cannot pause the recording you're gonna have to stop the recording and then um, start a new one and then combine the two videos if you want to pause it in uh, some way uh, that's pretty much it for this tab next you can go over to your videos tab and uh, you're gonna wanna select your codec um, I use the DX story video codec by default um, you can just um, install a whole bunch of other codecs um, the Lagareth codec the lossless I'll have this in uh, linked in the description this is also a really good one but for now, I'm going to be uh, using the DX Tori video codec by default. Once you have this checked, um, you're going to want to hit this pen. And then um, here, uh, you you have these. Um, do not do true quality or high quality. Because that's going to make your video files huge. And by huge, we're talking about like 50 to 100 gigabytes. I'd recommend medium quality or low quality. I have um, low quality checked. And then um, uh, um, hit compress as well to make it even smaller. Um, next, uh, you can just keep you can uh, keep these the same. You're going to want to go over here. Here's your frame rate. Um, you can change your frame rate, um, frame rate to whatever you want. This is the frame rate that your video records at. I keep it at 30. Um, yeah. Um, here's your output. Uh, you're going to check file output and then your file format would be AVI. Raw cap is if you like you have a strong computer or like you know what you're doing with raw cap. I suggest keeping it AVI. Um, you can ch uh, check these if you want to. Now scaling. Um, if you want 1080p videos um, hit um, go to size then make your width 1280 by 720 all right now here's your audio um for number one 
you're going to want to select your speaker device um, so that records your um, like people in your Skype call and your game volume and then you're going to want to hit this um, and add go to number two and then add your microphone second and then you can add some more devices if you feel like it uh, it's not recommended though um, here's your screenshot t um, tab you don't really need to mess with this go over to your advanced settings now um, you don't really need to mess with anything in here unless you know what you're doing but your processing threads I'd keep it around one or two these are your cores of your computer as I said keep it around one or two you do not need any more than one or two uh, go global you don't really need that over here is your your info like that shows your uh, your license key and stuff uh, up here your profile shows where your games are recording and then these over here are pretty much um, built-in video editing um, you don't really need to fiddle with these if you have a video recording software like Vegas or After Effects um, that's pretty much it I'm going to pause the video right now uh, and I will open up a game and I will show you the frame rate alright and uh, we're back and I have Far Cry 3 open and uh, as you can see up in the corner there's my frame rate I'm sitting at a solid 40 or so FPS uh, and uh, when I start to record my hotkeys F11 you'll see that I'm recording oh fuck what happened okay sorry about that I don't know what happened but at the top oh shit I guess that refreshed something my save Anyways, at the top you'll see that my frame rate hasn't really dropped at all. Um, it's I really like this recording software because it doesn't drop your frame rate at all. If it does, it's only like a two percent decrease. I don't see any decrease at all. Uh, maybe about two, two or three frames at least when I'm recording a decrease. Unlike Fraps, with Fraps you get at least a a ten to twenty. Um, frame rate drop, so I don't recommend wraps. I recommend the X Tori. Now, if I were to um, give this recording software a rating, I'd give it easily in an 8.5 out of 10. It's it's perfect for me. I I can use it with almost any game. Um, there is um, the things that I don't like about this software is that it does not. Uh, you cannot pause um, video software or um, you cannot pause videos so if you wanna jump cut you cannot do that with the XTORI and there are some games that you cannot record such as I've tried recording Call of Duty with the XTORI and it does not record I can't seem to get it to work with Call of Duty so that's a downfall uh, but other than that, it's a really good recording software. I recommend it for um, anyone who's wanting to record gameplay on the PC. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. My name is Mad Power Gaming, and thank you for taking the time um, for watching my video. If you find this video helpful, well, yeah, thanks. If you find it helpful, then thank you. Uh, anyways, my name is Mad Power Gaming, and I'll see you next time.